And we're following developing story right now after a Phoenix police officer was hit and killed in the line of duty. That's right, Governor Doug Ducey has ordered all flags will be flown at half staff tomorrow to honor that officer, 51 year old Paul Rutherford. Rutherford was hit near 75th Avenue and Indian School Road this morning. Police say Officer Rutherford was out of his patrol car investigating a car accident when he was hit. He was a 22 year veteran of the department and leaves behind a wife and two adult sons. We will have much more on this developing story on 12 News at 5. And if you would like to help Rutherford's family, the 100 Club and the Phoenix Fire Department have set up a fund. All you have to do is text FALLEN to the number 243725. And this automatically texts back a link where you can donate any amount that you would like. Now let's bring you up to speed with some other stories happening this afternoon. Another Phoenix police officer was injured in a crash this morning. It happened at 16th Street and Georgia Avenue. Police say officers, the officer's injuries were minor. Police are searching for a suspect after an overnight murder in Phoenix. It happened near 7th Avenue in Ellis. Police say the woman and the suspect were in an argument when it turned violent. Officers found the woman's body in the roadway in front of a home and police say a white sedan drove by that home and the suspect fired shots at the house and the victim. A Scottsdale medical worker accused of sexual assault in Pierce in court for his charges. Police say the suspect, 38 year old Xavier Perez, admitted to sexually assaulting a woman while she was under sedation for pain treatment for her back. It happened on June the 25th of last year at Integrated Pain Consultants near 96th Street and Shea Boulevard. Police say they were concerned that there could be other victims. A guilty plea for the Florida man that targeted some of President Trump's critics with a mail bomb. Cesar Sayoc Jr. is charged with sending those homemade pipe bombs to prominent Democrats such as former President Barack Obama and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. He also sent the explosive devices to the New York headquarters of CNN. At least a dozen suspected mail bombs were intercepted before Sayoc was arrested in late October. He faces up to life in prison. President Trump signed an executive order to withhold government money from colleges that don't promise to protect free speech. The order affects at least $40 billion in grant and research money that federal agencies oversee. President Trump was joined at the White House by conservative students who claimed their speech and advocacy was either shut down by administrators or went unprotected from intimidation by other students. 